Well, the draft has come and gone. I have the full results, but before I get into the full results, if you're new here, welcome to Drama Scripted Saturday, even though this is getting uploaded on a Monday. But this is where I go over the most noticeable things that happens in this past week of wrestling about how I start off every Drama Scripted Saturday. I start off every Drama Scripted Saturday with the ratings, and we have Raw at 1.68 million, NXT 2.0 with 630, 200,000. And we have AEW with just over 1.05 million. And here is the complete list of the draft, the draft results. Uh, if you want to pause the video or, you know, keep it up, I'm going to have the whole list over here somewhere. So for Raw, we have... Big E, Randy Orton, Matt Riddle, Edge, Keith Lee, Rey Mysterio, Dominic Mysterio, Austin Theory, Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, Damian Priest, AJ Styles, Omos, Kevin Owens, Montez Ford, D'Angelo Hawkins, Finn Balor, Karen Cross, Gable Seamuson, the Olympic gold medalist, Derek, Drake Maverick, Reggie, Tozawa, Chad Gable, Otis, R-Truth, John Morrison, T-Bar, Apollo Crews, Commander Aziz, Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode, Jason R Jackson Ryder, Veer, Shelton Benjamin, Cedric Alexander, and The Miz. On the women's side, Bianca Belair, Ray Ripper, Ray Ripley, sorry, Nikki Ash, Becky Lynch, Alyssa Bliss, Carmella, Nia Jax, Selena Vega, Dual Drop, Dana Brooke, Liv Morgan, Maya Yim. Tamina and Tegan Knox. That's your full raw roster. Here's your full SmackDown roster. Roman Reigns, the big dog. Drew McIntyre, Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, Happy Corbin, Mint Cat Moss, Isaiah Scott, Tot Dalla, Ashanti Donas, Jeff Hardy, Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, King Nakamura, Ricky Bull, Sheamus, Eric, Ivar, Ricochet, Humboro Camaro, Angela Gazzara, I didn't even know they were still with the company. Uh, C Cesaro, Rich Harlard, Sami Zayn, Drew Gallic, Mass, Mustafa Ali, Monsoor, Ginger Mahal, and Shanky. And on the, on the women's side, Charlotte Flair, B Fab, Naomi, Shasha Banks, Sh Shanna Blazer, uh, Sue Lee, Alea, Tony Storm, Shots, and Natty. And Asterisk, all of the superstars rosters does not go into effect until after the crown jewel so all these rosters effects will not go into place until october 22nd so basically almost every show is going to be a super show until crowned crown jewel is over uh i will be giving you my predictions on you know the saudi show on you know this this week's up drama script saturday but yeah, that is the draft. Uh, they don't like them. They indirectly are still keeping New Day apart. I don't see the reason why, but the WWE is still keeping Big E away from the New Day. I guess we're just gonna enjoy these two and a half weeks with the New Day together. And then when the roster goes into effect on October 22nd, we're gonna see them back apart of other than that they they broke up t-bar and mace which i don't see them doing anything with either of them solo wise so i'm just gonna put that's looking like only a matter of time unless they use them for enhancement talent only a matter of time for for either they go back down to NXT or they get released because that's that was that was really really weird in my opinion. Um, the title switch Charlotte's on SmackDown. Um, Becky is on Raw, so eventually we're gonna have to get the them switching the titles. Alyssa Bliss got drafted, so that means she's coming back soon. She didn't stay a free agent, so she must be coming back soon, either with the same character or a different character. One must speculate. Rumors are going around that she may be coming back as, you know, the old Alyssa Bliss, since Bray Wyatt's still... Well, Bray Wyatt's not the company anymore, 
so she may come back as you know her old character and charlotte destroying the doll was symbolizing that that character from melissa bliss is destroyed that's what people are saying we just have to wait and find out but all in all i just gotta wait to see how this uh this draft plays out uh raw was still kind of eh to me and speaking of uh crown jewel like i said i don't think anyone wants to see a, a goldberg versus bobby lashley match and now it's no disqualification where was then we just then then we just have a pay-per-view that's called extreme rules when a majority of the matches on that card was supposed to be no disqualification anyway so but whatever i don't uh, it's hard to question what WWE does sometimes. We just had a pay-per-view called Extreme Rules. You could have done that match on Extreme Rules. Hence, that's the theme of the pay-per-view Extreme Rules. But you want to do it at Crown Jewel. Okay. So, well, yeah. That's, that's the draft results. Uh, on to AEW, Hangman Adam Page returned. He won the ladder match. He was the Joker in the ladder match, won the ladder match, and now he is the number one contender for Kenny Omega's AEW World Heavyweight title. That full gear main event is going to be sick. This was... If it ends, I hope it ends with Hangman winning the the AEW title. If he does, this was a great two-year build for Hangman Page. Because Hangman Page was in the first match for the AEW title. Lost it. Lost the match against Jericho. Jericho went on to retain it. Then Hangman went into a, a tournament to get to be the number one contender again. Lost in the the finals match against Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega then goes on to beat John Moxley for the title. And then they had another match. Hangman versus you know, Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega won. So this is a nice two year build for the underdog face, Kenny Omega, uh, not Kenny Omega, sorry, Hangman on a page who got kicked out the elite, who's been by himself, who's been befriended from the Dark Order, befriended from the Dark Order to go on and win the AEW World Have Re title and ride his horse off into the sunset. It's a beautiful story. Uh, it's it's we don't really get really 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 long term like two year booking like this, like consistent building up of a character. The last time I can remember WWE doing it and it wasn't even it wasn't even like two years. It was like six months. No, it was Yeah, it was like six months and that was like the Daniel Bryan thing the Dan Bryan storyline, and then Dan Bryan wound up winning at WrestleMania 30. So, and then we have Kofi Kingston, but that was only like four months because it, it started from Elimination Chamber, then it carried all the way to WrestleMania, aka Kofi Mania. But it's been a long time since we had an underdog build up in, in wrestling. Well, in WWE, but in AEW, it took, it took two years for this build. And I and I hope they don't I hope they don't waste it. AEW has been very very good and consistent at booking. Only I've only had a very very few complaints about their booking. So hopefully they'll do good. Also, they announced a TBS Women's Title that's gonna when ramp when well, not Rampage when Dynamite moves to TBS. I remember talking about that in the last drama scripted due to hockey. Um, the title looks great. Um, I don't know if there's any other wrestling company that this is, but I don't like, I'm all up for the idea of it, <coughs> excuse me, 
I'm all for the idea of it, but a women's... I'm assuming this is going to be the, a women's mid-card title. So, I guess Thunder Rosa and Serena Deb are so awesome that they they just they just had to make another women's title because one of them has to have, one of them has to have a belt next to the Doctor Brick Breaker, who's the current AEW AEW Women's Champion. So, um, that's great. More action. Uh, I just prefer I I prefer that I feel that there needs to be more. AEW women's wrestling on the main show Dynamite instead of in you know on AEW Dark. Majority of all the women's matches are in AEW Dark. So yeah, they need to just push that more onto the main show. But that's really gonna wrap this up for this week's Drama Script Saturday. Uh remember there'll be a drama script Saturday every Saturday. If you would like to have witness, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next drama scripted, I'm Dante, and I'm out of here. Later, and peace. Be safe, everyone.